welcome back to my channel today i'll be doing my hair tutorial for you guys as you guys been requested all over my instagram that how do i curl my hair this is actually my everyday hair it means that i curl my hair every single time when i go out it's this kind of hairstyle so if you want to know how i curl my hair remember to keep watching today is actually my third day hair condition so which is a little bit oily as you can see at this part of my hair my hair scalp is a little bit oily what i will do before i style my hair for third day onwards i'll be using this uh, baby powder yes you can actually get different brand of the baby powder use this one because i saw a lot of online they recommend this brand too so what you have to do is you just section your hair so i just sprinkle the baby powder apply and section your hair again and apply if possible you can do it the day before you go out if you're hanging out tomorrow so make sure you do it tonight because it will like absorb so it won't be showing tomorrow morning and you just do this and repeat the step again here is the most oily part I feel okay so move it back to behind a little this part and this part and this part and if it possible you can do behind too you just like separate separate your hair and you just put the middle part from behind yeah it's really easy. I just like pop my hand here and just put it behind like that. For me, I feel that it's not very oily compared to just now. So as you can see that my hair is like more fluffy than just now. Why I chose baby powder over dry shampoo because a lot of the dry shampoo brand that I use is not really useful for me because they tend to be fluffy today but tomorrow they will be more oily than the day before I use the dry shampoo so I don't really feel that dry shampoo is a good choice for me so I use this baby powder and the result is quite good for me on my previous trip to uh, China to Shanghai and I didn't wash my hair for 5 days because I bumped into period week so I didn't really wash my hair my hair is still very fluffy but when in Malaysia it can't be that long it can't last for 5 days maybe you can just wash it after tomorrow so this is the way that I do my fluffy hair by using dry shampoo as you guys ask me that how do I put my dry shampoo so yeah I'll be using this hair curler which is a very old brand and I'm not sure what is the brand Japan Technology which is an old brand of hair curler that my mom bought me I think like a lot of years back so I'm not sure how many mm is the hair curler and stuff basically if you use this technique to curl your hair with all kinds of hair curler you can curl it up perfectly just that you need to have like good techniques yeah so before I curl my hair, I'll heat it up until 180 180, so don't go over 200 because it's like too hot for your hair Okay, so I'll be section my hair into two parts And I always start from behind first because if you make mistake of your hair No one can see the mistake easily from uh, behind section of your hair So I just section my hair, if for this much of hair I'll be sectioning into four to five parts and start from behind here section just a little bit because you want your curl to be pretty so I just section a little bit and start curling you can choose to style inwards and outwards so by here the middle of my hair and just curl it inwards you just remember to adjust your curler until the end of your hair and you just curl it upwards a little bit and you just come for 15 seconds if you first time curling your hair you might need to leave it longer 20 seconds okay just let it go so I know that it's a little bit very curl but it's okay no worries this you can put it behind so I'm gonna section another section of my hair if you are first time curling hair, you need longer time because why? Because your hair is not very used to any heat curling method yet. You need to leave it longer, your curl will be last longer. 
start from the middle of your hairline and this time I'm curling outwards outwards is like this outwards and move my curler into the end of the section of my hair and curl it outwards 15 seconds again yeah 15 seconds and let it go okay so as you can see the hair is quite curly so it's okay no worries okay do it the same this is inwards again so every time you curl your hair inwards outwards inwards outwards yeah if you let it go too early you will feel that the curl is very natural but this curl will not last long so you need to curl it a little bit more longer so that your curl will last for the whole day So this time after curling, you'll feel like the curl is like not very nice yet, just like normal curl. Not the fluffy and natural curl yet, but it's okay, you just leave it behind. And start curling this part of your hair. done curling all my hair and the front part is the most tricky part because a lot of you guys are asking me like how to curl a very nice fringe especially my fringe is like so freaking long so what you have to do is you just pick up your fringe and you just curl the bottom part of your fringe you curl it inwards just a little bit curve one twist and slowly let it go just let it go like this so you will, you will be getting this pretty wave and if you feel that it's not enough you can do it again twist it and just simply let it go this is the finish of my hair as you can see the curl is like this it's not very pretty not natural yet so what you have to do is you just comb your hair until the perfect shape you want to have I just demonstrate one side of my hair and you can see the difference by hand comb your hair and another side is not hand comb yeah so as you can see I comb my hair by using my hand and this side is like super fluffy and this side is like very stiff and all kind of curl so what you have to do is you just comb your hair you don't comb your fringe because fringe is only like just two seconds of curl so you don't comb it too frequently maybe just one time and the rest you just comb hand comb it yeah. so this is the uh, look of my hair this is my everyday curl as you guys requested like highly requested how do I style my hair it's actually very very simple you just need to follow a few techniques and you are good to go and if you have like very long hair or you feel that this part of your hair is not very fluffy can teach you on tips what you have to do is you just pick random maybe you just pick the center point and you just curl for the upper part of your hair you just twist it one twist and you just let it go so as you can see that it will create the volume of your hair as you can see here okay, you just twist it one round and let it go as you can see it will create the volume of your hair and you just need to comb it to make it natural as you can see, you make your hair like very very volume. If you feel that you, your hair is too fluffy, you can always tone it down by just like this and just just like just twisting your hair. Yeah, and you can let it go so your curl like won't be like too crazy. Hope you guys catch my ball for the tips and tricks and I really hope you guys love this kind of video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.